Hey guys, it's Memorizer92. Recently, I hear some people saying Glavier is weak, not doing well when it comes to MVP, or they say something like it's weaker than my other classes. Well, it depends on the situation and the build, but most of the time, Glavier will be relatively stronger than most of the classes in NA and EU. Let me tell you why. There are like four builds for Glavier. And the one I'm mainly gonna talk about is Pinnacle Class Engraving with Specialization and Swiftness Stats. If you want deeper information for all the builds, please check out video named Glavier All Builds Summary in my channel. The reason Glavier is strong in early games, like when you're in 1300s or in early 1400s, is because of the skills that have guaranteed crit tripod. Most of the skills in the red stance is like that. Having skills that guarantees crit is huge, especially in the early game, because most of the classes are all weak in the early game, and that's when Glavier becomes relatively stronger thanks to guaranteed crit skills, since there's no other classes that have guaranteed crit skills as main skills. This is why Glavier is also considered super strong in the equalized content like Trial Guardian Raid or Trial Abyss Raid that will come out soon in NA and EU. In equalized content, all the classes become weaker than they are compared to unequalized content since their tripods become all level 1 and all the gems car set are not applied as well. And that's when Glavier becomes relatively stronger than others by having skills that guarantees crit. So now you guys understand why Glavier is strong in early games, right? But at the same time, going for a guaranteed crit tripods over other damage tripods means her DPS is kinda already close to the peak. And because of this reason, Swiftness and Specialization build at the late endgame, like in Broshaja Raid, starts to lose damage potential compared to other classes. If I try to tell you how Glavier is like in the KR server endgames, I think their DPS is slightly above the average, and she will become stronger after the PTR changes become live. To break the ceiling of DPS, there's a pinnacle, specialization, and crit stats build which uses damage tripod over guaranteed crit tripod for the red skills. This build has higher potential compared to the swiftness build, but you do have to face crit RNG, which means the DPS will be inconsistent. Check out my channel for more infos. Well guys, that's all for this video. Please hit the sub and follow my Twitch if you liked it. Thanks for watching and see you guys on the next video. Bye bye.